Hey everyone at home or wherever you happen to be. I'm Miss Jamie and welcome back to another Art Explorations for Kids. So today we're going to be celebrating Earth Day and we're going to create our own world using a technique called stippling. It was first invented in the 1500s for engraving and later on was used to transfer images onto newspapers. And we'll show you a few images just as examples and you may have seen some of this even in older comic book art. So stippling is the technique of using several dots to create an image and uh, different depths, shadows with different layers of those dots. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this medium blue here. And we're going to start off by creating a giant circle for our Earth. Let's go around our page here. So I'm going to grab this light green. So now we're going to start by creating our land masses, and we're not going to create exact depictions of the continents. We just want to create something similar to what we would see if we were looking at the Earth from above. So if you just follow along with me, working on the northern hemisphere right now and coming down. create a few islands up here. And we're going to start another large landmass over here. So now we have our earth laid out with our continents and we're going to go ahead and take our Tombow dual brush pens and we're just going to go ahead and grab our darker green and our blue out of our set. And to do our stippling technique, we are going to use our brush pen side, but I want you to be very gentle when you're using it and placing down your dots because we don't want to damage our brush pens. So all you're going to do is just apply as many dots as you can into your green sections. And you're going to want to repeat this throughout all of the areas that we have outlined in green. And so you just want to repeat that same technique throughout the rest of the picture and fill in your ocean. Now you can apply as thick or as thin of an application of dots as you'd like or if you would want it to add texture you can add different sections of thicker dots and thinner layers of dots and get a really neat effect throughout your planet. 
So I'm going to go ahead and fill mine in and you go ahead and do yours and we'll come back and see what ours looks like. Okay, so welcome back. Now you can see I have filled on my entire earth. I decided to go ahead and do an even application with my dots because this was the texture that I was going for. Maybe you added some thicker areas with your stippling technique. And if you enjoyed doing this technique, then I really encourage you to look at other artists who have also done stippling and maybe get some more ideas for future art pieces. Now if you're happy with your picture the way it is, you can go ahead and stop the program right here. This is the end of the beginning portion. However, if you would like to do a more advanced technique with your background and add a little bit more detail, then go ahead and stick around and we'll begin the advanced portion in just a second. Okay, so welcome back to the advanced portion of our lesson. Now we're going to work on a little bit more of an advanced technique with our stippling and we're going to create a swirling background in our outer space area around our earth. So what we're going to do is just create some swirl guidelines with our jumbo jet black pencil and just going to do this very lightly. your swirls going whichever direction you like. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. We just want to have guidelines for where we're going to be laying in our dots. Okay? So now what we're going to do is take our number eight creative inspirations brush and I have laid out our lamp black and our phthalo blue. And what we're going to do is just put in a layer of dots using the same technique of stippling with our lamp black all over the background here. So we're going to dip our brush into our lamp black. We're just going to use the very tip of it and gently lay down our dots. You'll notice We'll use up the paint fairly quickly, so you'll have to keep going back and re-dipping. Try not to get too much on the end of your brush, or else you'll end up with a giant splotch. And it's okay if they're a little bit different, but you don't want to smudge your painting. Okay, and you can see I'm just creating an even layer throughout. So what I want you to do is just continue this same technique and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my background as well and we'll come back and we'll complete our background with the swirls that we have already started here. Okay, so we're back and you can see I have laid out all the dots in my background and I've also given my painting some time to dry just so that way when I'm adding in our extra details with our swirls in the background, I'm not risking smudging my painting. Now, when you are laying in your dots, something that may have happened is when you're using the brush, you may have ended up with some dots that ended up fuzzing a little bit because of the bristles, and that's okay. This is a new technique that we're learning, and it is a bit more difficult when you are doing this technique with a brush. So don't panic. This just makes your piece very unique, and this is something that we're practicing and just perfecting along the way. So now we're going to go ahead and dip into our phthalo blue and we're going to start working on these swirls. We're going to use that same technique, getting, the, getting a decent amount of paint on the tip of our brush. And then you see I have the swirl drawn out here. I'm going to just take the blue 
and dot along the area that I have drawn here, giving me a guideline for where I want these dots to go with this swirl. So now you can see that I have created a little bit more detail in my background by adding this swirl in here with the blue. And this is just something really fun you can play around with with the stippling technique, getting lots of different textures and shading. So now we're just gonna continue that throughout the whole picture with all these other swirls that we have made guidelines for in our background. Okay, so now we have completed our background and you can see that we have these fun swirls going in the background with our added detail with our stippling technique. And you want to make sure that you rinse out your brush really well because acrylics will dry and ruin your brushes and we want to make sure that we can use these for future projects. So now that our background is done, we want to make sure that it dries completely 
And if you don't like seeing your pencil marks for your swirls in the background, once it's dry, you can go ahead and erase those so you don't see them anymore. So I hope you all enjoyed learning about the stippling technique. I hope you look into other projects and other examples of art that use this technique and see how you can use it in your future projects. And I also hope you really had fun working on this with me because I enjoyed working on it with you and I had so much fun and I can't wait to see you all on the next Art Explorations for Kids.